guys welcome back to my channel so I've been wanting to make this video for probably actually I probably wanted to make this video for a year ever since I had a baby um, but I've been so hesitant about making this kind of video and talking about why I feel like I regret my decision um, about getting my breast augmentation just because first off I do not want to come off judgy in this video it's really hard for me to talk about it because it's such a sensitive topic you guys will see why I don't want to come off judgmental towards any women that have any kind of surgery like on their body like plastic surgery even if it is for vanity reasons because that's why I got mine done second off I don't want to make other women feel bad about their surgery if they did get it done and if they haven't had kids yet and third off I just seriously do not want to relive this um, but I feel like it's my duty to make this kind of video for you guys because a lot of you guys actually found me like I think two years ago when I got my breast augmentation surgery done um, you guys found me because I made like a whole like like journal of like my whole experience I think I filmed on like the week of my surgery I showed you guys um, like my recovery I talked about like everything I got done and I was very happy about it at the time and a lot of you guys I don't know if it's because of that video that you went to get your boobs done because I know some of you guys use the doctor that I went to um, which makes me cringe but not that he's bad at all he's amazing so that video actually got I think like 150,000 views it was a lot of views so anyways I know a lot of you guys found me because of that video and I answered a lot of your questions well since then I've taken the video down just because I feel like my thought process when it comes to breast augmentation um, has completely changed since having a baby and I wanted to talk in this video on things that I wish I knew before I got my breast augmentation done um, and things that I just want to tell you guys if you are considering getting it done if you haven't had children yet um, this kind of just more pertains to if you haven't had children because if you've had children um, then I'm sure you already know how your body changes and all that kind of stuff but yeah I wanted to make this video for anyone that is considering it because I feel like especially when I got mine done on YouTube especially there are a ton of videos talking about why you should get them done and of good experiences. Not that mine was a bad experience, but you'll see in a second what I mean. Just like the process of the surgery and just like answering a bunch of questions about it. They don't talk about like just, I don't know, really important things when it comes to having children and having a boob augmentation or just like things that can happen in your life and things that you don't consider and that doctors don't want to really discuss because it's their profession and it's how they make money. I also just wanted to say really quickly that I'm aware that all the points that I mentioned in this video do not pertain to every single person's situation. So if you're wanting a boob augmentation, um, then by means, go ahead and get one. Like I'm not shaming you in any way. I'm not saying you're um, stupid for getting one done um, or you're vain because that's why I got mine done. There are a lot of different reasons why women want breast augmentations. They could have had cancer and have had um, their boobs removed or they could have been in an accident to where something has happened and they need reconstructive surgery and they want a bigger bust because I don't know for whatever reason things can happen um, or they just feel severely insecure and it hinders their day like completely. So I know that there are other reasons to the fact that it's not just pure vanity sometimes if you're uncomfortable with your breast size and just like even the shape of them because it's not always just about having a bigger bust I know that it can affect your daily life it can make you very insecure and there are a bunch of different reasons for getting it done so if that is you in any case I am NOT talking directly towards you I'm basically just making this video um, just like kind of what I would have told my younger self so yeah just keep that in mind first I wanted to tell you guys why I got it done um, I think I was like 23 or 22 at the time so I was in my early 20s I just kind of chalk it up to like a dumb 20 year old life choice and it was only dumb in my case I know it's not like that for every woman but for me I definitely think at the time of my life it was just a rash decision so I had a b-size cup and I always felt I wasn't like super insecure with them I just kind of felt like they weren't full which is normal if you have a b-size cup like I don't know they're just not very full and especially for me they weren't like full at the top right here I think that's just honestly looking back I realize that it's just like that for almost every woman like your boobs are naturally 
they go down at a point if you have natural boobs and if you don't have implants. I don't know. I think just like at the time I thought, oh, my boobs aren't full at the top. Like I really want this to be fuller and like rounder. So it wasn't so much that I wanted like a giant bust. Like I never wanted that. Um, I also kind of felt a little bit insecure because all the women in my family have like D-sized boobs and I've just been surrounded by a bigger bust, I guess, like my whole life. Not that I've ever wanted like giant boobs, like I said, but I always wanted to feel more feminine and around that time I was getting married or I was about to get married so I just felt uncomfortable in my wedding dress just because I was flat as a pancake. So I honestly did it purely for vanity reasons and I just wanted like a little bit more of a perky look and I wanted just a little bit more roundness and fullness so I got the gummy bear um, implant which everything has turned out fine. My surgery went fine. It was very smooth. No complications. That's not why I'm making this video. I'm not trying to scare you out of it. I got around, I think, 330 cc's. So it wasn't a crazy large implant, but it was definitely substantial. I think any implant is honestly substantial because you have to be cut open and it's stuffed in your body. So anyways, so yeah, I got that. Um, so I went from like a B to a C, but now I'm like a D because I'm breastfeeding. Um, so that is a little bit of my background and like what I went in for. Okay, so the first thing I feel like doctors do not go into detail is breastfeeding. I know you guys are already gonna know I'm gonna say this because I'm in the thick, well, I'm not in the thick of breastfeeding. My baby is one years old, if you're new to my channel. Um, but I have been in the thick of breastfeeding for an entire year. It completely changes your body and your life and your mental state and just how you view like your everyday life. It's insane. So anyways, breastfeeding is something that I feel like doctors just kind of skim off the surface. At least my doctor did and a lot of other doctors that I hear my friends go to. So when I asked my doctor initially at the consultation, is it going to affect breastfeeding? He said, there's no studies that show that implants affect breastfeeding. And that's all he said. He didn't go into detail. He got a little bit nervous about the question. Maybe not nervous, but just kind of, he didn't want to go into it. And I think that's because they literally don't know. And I'm sure he would agree. He can't say whether it's going to affect my body or not legally. Um, and you don't know what's going to happen. Just because every woman's body is different, there's not too many studies that show take a woman and you know have her without implants and then have her put implants in and breastfeed they just can't do that so it's very hard to tell whether implants affect breastfeeding but let me tell you from my own experience I can't say for certain but what I can say and what I kind of think about the whole situation um, just like for my genetic makeup, my whole family can breastfeed. My mom breastfed me and my sister. My sister breastfeeds all three of her children are breastfed. Um, so I just feel like my family and just like my genetic makeup, we don't have an issue with breastfeeding. So with that being said, you guys will know if you watch my channel, the beginning of breastfeeding was definitely hard and I feel like it was unusually hard for me. Not sure if that was because of my implants or because she had a tongue or a lip tie and a tongue tie, but I do feel like the implants, especially in my left boob, because I no longer actually breastfeed in this boob, fun fact, I don't know if you guys know that, just my right boob, so it's a good time having lopsided boobs. But anyways, um, I don't know if that's because of the implants or because I got mastitis. A bunch of different things can come into question, but what I can say for certain in my experience is it is not worth the risk breastfeeding for those of you guys who haven't had children yet and you might have no desire in your life to breastfeed I get that like breastfeeding is freaking hard it's so much easier to formula feed and some women can't actually breastfeed so I know it's different for every women's situation but I'm kind of more talking to the women out there that are thinking about getting implants and also really want to breastfeed or think they want to you don't realize like the bond you get with your baby when you breastfeed I truly think that it's one of the most life-changing things that will ever happen to me like the closeness you get not only the closeness but it is just so amazing for your baby's immune system I don't need to go into detail but I kind of feel like I need to touch on it just because I personally didn't really think about it because I was just focused on like vanity reasons at the time um but the closeness you get and I mean you can prevent your baby well, you can't prevent, but you can help prevent your baby from getting all kinds of diseases and all kinds of sicknesses. I just hear a lot of women being like, oh, well, my babies never get sick and they're formula fed, which is fine. Doug was formula fed. I was half formula fed and I feel like we have good immune systems. I know like that isn't really an issue, but it goes deeper than just like the common cold. Um, it can help like just breast cancer and all kinds of things like that. So anyways, that's really important if you want to be a mom that breastfeeds. If you don't, 
then please ignore this part. But I feel like I have to say it because my 20 year old self or 22, whenever I got them done, um, I did think I wanted to breastfeed. I was like, yeah, I'll breastfeed one day. This shouldn't really affect it. But I didn't know like the life changing impact breastfeeding can have on your child and you as a woman. From my experience and like what I've observed with my own body while I'm breastfeeding and why I feel like implants can cause like a disruption of the milk um, is the fact that if you get too big of implants or if you get implants at all, it just depends on every woman's body. I'm not speaking generally because some women I know breastfeed perfectly fine with implants. Like my right boob is a champion. It produces so much milk and there's an implant in it. So I know it's not for everybody, um, but I would just honestly, the main point I'm trying to make is I'd rather be safe than sorry. I would just rather have waited if I ever did get them done. Um, not that I would have looking back, but I would have waited after children. Anyways, so the reason I feel like inside and just my experience that the implant can disrupt the milk is that it pushes against the milk ducts. Like you want your milk duct to be free flowing. You don't want anything disrupting them. You don't want anything causing any pressure against them because they fill up with milk. They deflate with milk. They fill up and they basically do that you know, obviously every feed for however long you're breastfeeding. So if you have a big implant pushing against the milk ducts, it's harder for them to fill up with milk. I'm not a doctor. I don't know 100% on that, but that's just like how I can feel my boobs working. I don't know if that's right, but it makes a lot of sense to me. And that's what I've heard of other people in the healthcare industry kind of like describe it. So that's why I feel like implants do pose a risk to breastfeeding. Um, not only that, but I hate to say this, and obviously I'm a breastfeeding mom, so I cringe at this but there have been studies done I don't know like the complete full lengths of them but there have been studies done that do find traces of just things that are in your implants in your baby system so that alone I feel like you should never take the risk for that if you are considering breastfeeding um, I don't know like what that can do for the long-term health effects of the baby obviously I feel you know because I breastfeed that it's worth the risk because breastfeeding and like breast milk is so good for the baby long term but the studies have not shown a lot so definitely take that into consideration because you just never know okay so the second thing that I wish I had known is that when you have children your priorities drastically change and I know this isn't for every mom but I could just tell looking at my private Facebook group which I'll leave a link to below if you want to enter just the women in that little community and the YouTube mom community that I built with my channel I can just tell that's not just me like moms will do anything for their baby they put themselves last on the totem pole almost every mom I talk to agrees so having like an increased bus size you know besides the whole breastfeeding thing it's just not important anymore and I wish I would have told myself that it's really not that important to go and get surgery have your body cut open and something artificial put inside is ridiculous because if you don't need it for serious like insecurity reasons which trust me I know that there are women out there that just absolutely need them to be happy like there's nothing else they could do but if you just want them just to want them I don't feel like that is good enough of a reason um, at least it wasn't for me personally it might be for you like I said um, but your priorities dramatically change when you have a baby and your body is the last thing to think about which is kind of sad but it's very liberating at the same time it may seem like depressing if you don't have kids yet you might be like oh well I'm not gonna be like that or you know you might think that it's just not how it is or it's not going to be like that for you but I promise you your baby will always come first and just jeopardizing the relationship that you might have with breastfeeding and also knowing that when you're a mom one day it's not going to be important is it worth like spending I don't know however much money six or seven thousand dollars on going through you know the traumatic experience of surgery and recovery and also just um, I don't know just knowing that you're gonna have to get them redone in 10 or 15 years you can't have implants for life so you're gonna have to go through the process all again and it's just like you're just gonna have to keep getting them done until you feel a certain way about yourself I just don't feel like that's worth it and for me personally I just wish I would have been happier with what God gave me I know a lot of you guys aren't religious so don't freak out and click away but you don't even have to think about God or like religion in this instance I feel like sometimes we put so much pressure on ourselves in society that we just want to look a certain way when you should really just be happy with what you have because a lot of women and a lot of people out there they don't have a functioning body like we do a healthy body and I just think it's important to look at what you have and know that you are amazing the way that you were born um, so don't get me started 
Okay, I just feel like that's really important when you weigh the pros and cons of going through an invasive surgery like that. That can really change the rest of your life because you're going to have to keep getting them done. You're going to have kids. It's just, it's a lot. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, something else that is on the more vain thing that I have on my list is that if you gain weight, which most women do when they have a child, um, and you have an increased bus size, it's only going to make you look heavier. I know that's very negative, but I feel like this is a negative video. I can't do anything about it. Um, but when you gain weight anywhere, when you're pregnant and you have a really big boob size, it just makes, at least it does for me, it makes me look heavier. Like I used to look a lot slimmer with a size B boob cup. Um, and then when you go from like a B to a D or something, it just... I don't know, unless you're just keeping fit like your whole life, but if you don't work out and if you don't really care about like that kind of stuff, like I don't, I would definitely avoid getting a breast augmentation because if you gain any bit of weight, which trust me, you probably will when you have children, it's inevitable because your focus is all on your children. Um, having increased bus size is not going to help you if you are doing it for vanity reasons. So that is something I've noticed. I also wanted to say really quickly that surgery is surgery. And I think that when I went into it um, a few years ago, I just thought, oh, it's no big deal. But really, you're put under, they slice you open, they move things around. And especially if you get them through like the areola, which I didn't, I went underneath, thank God. Um, but if you go through the areola, that is a pretty invasive thing. I mean, you're gonna have recovery time, you're gonna have it multiple times if you get them removed. And that's just something to consider. Like don't just kind of brush that off like I did because there's definitely a recovery time and it's a lot more invasive than you would think. I also wanted to say really quickly that your boobs do sag if you have implants. Um, if your genetic makeup is having saggy boobs like mine is in my family of women, then they're gonna sag no matter what. An implant is not gonna keep your boobs from sagging after you breastfeed or after just living life. So. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of women might get them because they might think it will prevent the saggy droopiness from just aging. I do not think that that is the case. You're probably gonna have to get a lift after children anyways if you, you know, want perkier boobs. So keep that in mind. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I know it's kind of depressing and I feel like I'm really down in this video, but I wanna share everything. I mean, I don't wanna share everything, but I wanna share certain things that I feel like can help other women. And I know a lot of you guys watching do have implants and you're probably totally rolling your eyes at me and all my points because you might love them. But for me and knowing that thousands of people, like a lot of people found that video and have taken something from my initial video, I felt like it was almost my duty to remake the kind of video that I did, telling you guys my updated experience after I've had a baby and why I regret it. Because I don't want you guys to think that, oh, Haley has a breast augmentation, um, she loves her body, which I do, and that you should go get one one day. I am far from wanting you guys to do anything like that just because of me, because I know that people do take something from my channel and I am an influencer like they say so I wanted to remake that for you guys and yeah that is pretty much it for today's video um, press the like button if you liked it or if you got any kind of value from it subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time bye guys